Hi friends. In January, February, and March, we practiced writing stories. We practiced telling stories and we practiced writing stories. In today's lesson, we are going to use three pictures. One, two, three. Three of these pictures to tell a story. Okay. So put the pictures in an order and create a story. So these three pictures will can be placed anywhere. So for example, I can have this as my first part of the story, the middle of the story, and the end of the story. Or I could shuffle the pictures around. I could have this as the beginning of my story, and this picture for the middle of the story, and this picture for the end of my story. Or you could put this picture for the beginning of your story, and this as your middle of your story, and use this picture as for the end of your story. Okay, so you are going to place these three pictures in an order and create a story using the pictures. Okay, so like I said, this could be your beginning, this could be your middle, so the second part, and this could be your end of your story or the third part of your story. Okay. Now, I'm going to model telling a story using three pictures. I'm going to arrange my pictures like this. So this will be the beginning part of my story, this will be the middle of my story, and this will be the end of my story. You can use simple sentences to tell a story. Jennifer was painting. It was time for dinner. She washed her hands. Then she had dinner. Now, if you would like to challenge yourself, I highly encourage you to add details to your story. Okay. So here comes my example. Before dinner, Jennifer was painting in her room. She painted the sun. Then her mom called her to have dinner. Jennifer realized that she made a big mess. She quickly picked up the brush. She put the paint away and she mopped the floor. Then she went to the washroom. She realized that she had paint on her dress, so she washed that, the paint off and then she washed her hands with soap. After washing her hands, she dried her hands with a towel. Then she went downstairs to join her family for dinner. She thanked her mom for dinner and began to eat. So that was my example. Now, your job is to use the three pictures, put them in an order. Remember, you don't have to order the pictures how I arrange them, okay? So you could mix them around, place different pictures for the beginning part of your story, 
have a different picture for the middle part of your story and then another picture for the third part of your story or the end of your story. And then once you put these three pictures in an order, then you can create a story and you can tell your story orally. So you're going to be using your words to tell your story today. We're not going to be writing anything on paper. Okay, have fun with that, friends.